Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you exactly how I made my closure wig using my Diamond Hair Company Virgin Peruvian Wavy Closure and four bundles of their Virgin Peruvian hair. So what I did was take my spandex dome cap that I got from my local beauty supply store and put my closure on top. Now what's going to make this fit perfectly is proper measurement. So you just want to push it back a little bit because I do plan on leaving a little bit of hair out. And I'm going to lay my closure right on top of my head. Now I'm going to measure from where the hair on the closure actually stops and starts. So I'm taking a measuring tape that I got from my local like sewing store, craft store for like a dollar fifty, and I'm gonna measure from where the lace starts and stops on both sides of the closure. And I'm gonna just take that measurement and I'm gonna mark that section on my cap because we are gonna be sewing around where the hair starts and stops on the closure, not where the lace ends. So you guys can see exactly what I'm saying in a second. I know it sounds a little scary, but I'm just gonna lay the measuring tape on my head and use like an eyeliner pencil to mark where the closure starts and stops. So now I'm going to use that same measuring tape and measure the closure from the baby hair area to the part that is going to be covering the tracks in the back. And I'm going to mark that on my cap as well. And this is just going to help with the proper placement and make sure that I am using the right amount of space on my cap. You want this to fit like a glove because it will <laughs> alter your whole closure experience, trust me. So then what I'm gonna do is take that same measuring tape and from those first two marks that I made, measure all the way around my head and I'm gonna actually mark this on the measuring tape and you guys will see in a second why I'm doing this. This is all about proper fit, so um, trust me, the measuring won't be in vain. So this is the finished product. I have a full video on how I achieve this color so if you want to watch that, click here. And I will have the link in the bottom bar for that below. This is again my Virgin Peruvian wavy hair. Here goes my Mr. Mimita, my favorite mannequin head in the world. Um, I will be doing a video in the future to show you guys how I got this baby to be the exact same size as my head. But for right now, um, you guys can see that I am cross-checking my measurements. So I just want to make sure that I'm placing my cap on the mannequin head the right way so that my measurements are the same. And right here it's a little bit off so I'm going to push it back a bit because I may have pulled it down too far and it will measure now, quickly right now, quickly right now. I'm then going to measure the circumference as well and make sure that it is the same exact mark that's on the measuring tape. This is all about fit, trust me. This will make your closure experience horrible if you don't take that time. So now I'm just going to put my closure right on top of the markers and I'm going to section them off with two rubber bands, you know, get it up and out the way and we're going to start sewing. Now you want to start sewing your sides first just to make sure that they're taut enough and then you want to sew the back. You don't want to go all the way around in a circle because by the time you're done your closure may be a little bit off. So I uh, followed this method and I'm sure you ladies will have no problems.
now done securing my closure to the top of my wig and I just want to show you guys exactly how it looks and you want to make sure you do a really nice tight form and snug fitting stitch on this closure because you do not want it to move anywhere. So um, this is basically what I've got. And to further ensure the snug form fittingness <laughs> of this closure, I'm going to sew down those little tabs on the side of my closure. And this will just make it even more flat and you won't have to like put bobby pins on your closure once you put it on your head. So um, yeah, you want to sew down both sides and that's pretty much it. The back and the, the rest of it will be um, sewn up once you put your tracks on so you don't got to worry about that. And um, we're going to start sewing in a second. You guys can see that the wefts are impeccable. I had really no shedding even with coloring and bleaching of these bad boys. But um, I'm going to double my wefts, uh, the first two bundles, my 26 and 24. I love to bundle, bundle, to double my longest lengths because I um, kind of don't want them to be uh, as spare. So I want it to be really full. So I'm going to just double that, go along the length of my cap. You guys know how to make these wigs already. I know you're amazing at it. But I figured um, I'd just show you guys how I did it. I'm just going to do some quick stitching all the way up until I get to the top of my closure. You guys don't know I am using the fold over method and this is ideal for ladies who want these wigs to be long lasting and that's the whole point of me making them most of my wigs last you know three four years with proper maintenance you have to like patch them up here and there but if you do the fold over method you don't have to worry about cutting your wefts which means you eliminate shedding as well so um these wefts aren't sealed but um like I told you earlier I didn't really have any problems with shedding and um, the fold over method just <laughs> enhances that so I'm going to keep going all the way up until I get to my Whoa, that's a loud behind truck outside. Uh, New York City living. Um, I'm going to go all the way up until I get to my shortest bundle. And you just want to be really neat and precise and make sure that you don't have any lumps or bumps on this wig. Like, you want this to be the winner, the bad boy. So take your time. Watch your favorite show. Talk on the phone. Take your time with this wig and it will be fabulous. Trust me. <laughs> So now I've gotten up to the point where um, I am joining my track to the leftover pieces of the lace from the closure. And all you're going to do is just snag that in while you're sewing down your track. The lace is a virtually undetectable material, so you don't have to worry about it being lumpy or bumpy. You're just going to grab that with your needle, just like you're sewing down your track, just like it's the spandex dome cap. Pay it no mind and just make sure that your spacing is on point so you don't see that in the gap when the wind blows later. But um, other than that, you're just going to keep going up and you want to keep this as flat as possible.
I am finally finished. And if it wasn't for my show scandal, this would have been a long, long time. But it took me about an hour and maybe 15, 20 minutes to make this wig. I'm really fast at sewing because you guys know I am a hairstylist. So I'm used to sewing, it's like just second nature for me. But um, I wanted you guys to get a close up look at my stitching so you can see how I sew this on. It's really not rocket science, it's really easy. I know you guys can do it. Um, it's really, who's honking? Jesus, I'm gonna take my closure down and um, brush it over the wig so you guys can get an idea of what it will look like you know, once it's installed. But it is such a flawless wig. I can't wait to see, you know, you guys make these wigs like I'm telling you this is this is a lifesaver wig um, so I'm really happy with the way this looks I'm excited to style it I love the hair the way it looks in this natural state and let me know what you guys think I hope this was really really helpful it took me forever to um, finally film this video I do this all the time on clients but I've never done it for myself but I'm taking that closure plunge and what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna cut the black from underneath the closure, just underneath the closure area. And let me know what you guys think. Love ya, bye bye.